former newsreader Lee Lynch and gave her final SBS address to the people of Australia after resigning last week having spent more than 30 years at the broadcaster. Throwbacks from the past three decades were aplenty during her final bulletin last night, as were the thank yous and farewell wishes. What icon you have been at Lee Lynch and Subs, whether knowingly or not, being a role model for multicultural Australia. Desk for at Leland Jinsips pick.twitter.com slash for tout hikes SBS Australia at SBS July 29, 2018 Many of Chin's colleagues paid tribute to the inimitable presenter, with Mike Tomilaris calling her the fabric of the network. Adding Chin is unique in every way. As well as Tom Alaris, Craig Foster said Shin was an extraordinary professional, one of the greatest in the history of Australian broadcasting. But more than that, you've been a beacon of diversity, you've redefined what it means for a presenter in Australia, how they should look and how they should talk and how they should dress. Everyone here is incredibly proud of you, I'm sure every Australian is, he said. And you leave as you conducted your celebrated career, very much on your own terms, fellow journalist Anton Enos, whose announcement of a return to SBS coincided with news of Chin's departure, said Chin has the confidence and the verve and the off-center styling to take that established conventionality and turn it on its head. He added, and what we've seen over the decades, of course as a result of that, has been an exponentially more interesting broadcasting landscape. And I think, Lee Lin, we certainly owe you a great debt of gratitude for bringing that color and style into our lives over a long period. It's certainly been a great honor being your colleague, being your friend, giving her final farewell to the Australian audience, Chin said, as we approach the end of this evening's news, my final bulletin on SBS, I take my leave with sadness. Over the years all my colleagues have featured very prominently and positively in both my life at the network and in my personal life. I'm saddest of all to leave you, the audience. Thank you for watching and a very good night, she finished. Chin posted a tweet farewelling the SBS, 30 years, it goes by rather fast. Goodbye. Lee Lynch and, at Lee Lynch and Sibs, July 29, 2018 SBS posted a farewell of its own, specifically, saying goodbye to Chin's wardrobe. That's a wrap. Ed Lee Lynch and Sibs has left the at SBS news building. The proof is in the empty wardrobe. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash w9 sky pick dot twitter dot com slash pgbrl 2 grpg sbs news at sbs news july 29, 2018 sign in with linkedin lee lynch and sbs the journal who took down weinstein has exposed a series of sexual misconduct claims against the ceo of 10 owned cbs if ever there was a proven strategy for tv ratings success celebs bearing all for a good cause would be it WPP's Ogilvy Sydney has decided to take a new creative direction, which has resulted in a few senior casualties. A newspaper has admitted to getting it wrong, while B. Ostem is hitting play on Total TV, as B. Sadly, the week has not stopped playing. Why? Blueberries are a staple in the breakfast diet of B. News debuts the latest from its Better Together campaign. Monday is always the day to suggest one in two jobs will be taken by machines in the near future. No, you can't go home. Ever wanted to know what it's like to be on a cruise? Well, you could always sit on a ferry for a while. Or watch this. Baker's Delight has fallen in loaf with the Royals, proclaiming its need for the agency's content services. It's all smiles for the UDKU team after this news. Unlike the B, TBWA jumps into bed with Sheridan, would be too obvious a headline for such stylish and crisp businesses as these. It's Perry Perry Chicken and Spring Onion Dip all round at the BWM Dentsu office today after these wins. What better way to welcome in a new week than with B? That and seven panadols. If marketing had a secret golden key society, the Marketing Academy would be it, without the weirdness of Wes Anderson. Pacific has relaunched practical parenting as B. 
Morning Tequila Anyone? After being made redundant at NAB, Michael Nierhoes has booked a ticket to fly with Virgin in a newly created role. Kablisis Initiative is accelerating change in media. Far more than our coffee is accelerating change in our brain. SBS Supremo Michael Abate has lined up his next gig at Telstra, but will Lee Lynch in follow suit? Digital ad spending for newspapers has risen for Q2. As in it has increased, not moved away from the earth. Welcome to the first installment of a week-long series on B. From Monday to Thursday this week we'll be providing you with a look at Facebook's latest face-to-face -face series, hosted by Tribe founder Jules Lund. By tuning into this series you'll be privy to the unique insights, hello and welcome to the second in our series from Facebook exploring how top marketers click with consumers. It's guaranteed to provide you with a truckload of insights into marketing and brand amplification to make your day just that little bit easier. In today's video and podcast, host Jules Lund sits down with TBWA Melbourne CEO, what have Usain Bolt and the children of a tiny Pacific Island got in common? Of course it's being the subject of the third, face-to-face, -face interview, brought to you by Facebook. Once again, we've got a job lot of marketing and brand insights for your delectation. In today's video and podcast, Jules Lund, so here we are then, it's the fourth and final episode of the, Face to Face, series, brought to you by Facebook. But never fear, we are coming home strong with a final whack of marketing know-how from two of the best in the business. In today's conclusive video and podcast, Jules Lund speaks to Carmen Becker, partner of B. B. You've got to admit, no one does speculation stories quite like B. Here's a lesson for all agencies on why they should never use an image of a Giorno being executed in an ad campaign. Sir Martin's fallout with WPP continues, with the ex-CEO now making his feelings known about other board resignations. Val Morgan has given its leadership team a touch-up, but that's not to say any of them were punched in the process. A reminder to get your B. Former Aussie Prime Minister Paul Keating has come out of the woodwork to do what he does best, have a whinge. Aaron will be hoping listeners don't fade out once Chris hits the airwaves. Okay, we admit that joke was crap. SBS reveals new shows for the rest of 2018, but sadly no mention of a movie-length Lee Lynch in tribute special. The state's creme de la creme have been named, that's award school grads, not some bad cocktail. Peter Desworth joins audience data pros IOTA as B. Or 10. B. We may have flashed this news yesterday, but Lee Lynn has a special place in B. If you think we ran this press release in the hope of having hard liquor delivered to our offices, you'd be right. Just woken up late for work and realized you missed the big news. Get your key talking points ready with this. The nine Fairfax deal was only announced this morn. Not wanting to let all the attention go to its publishing rival Fairfax, News Corp has got its own piece of news. It appears the criticism over 10's pilot week reveal isn't going away just yet, with the ABC now joining in. Aldi happens to be the supermarket of choice for B. Dr. Zeus books are one of the many things entertaining kids in B. The delightful Karen Lewis popped into the B. Okay, we lie, she just emailed her answers to us. First it was NBL Team Melbourne United, and now Croft Media's opened its jaws and bitten into a bit of AFL meat. Sounds of even more champagne corks popping heard coming from 9, Fairfax as old media's enemy takes a tumble. It's the big news of the day. No, not the 9 Fairfax merger, the infamous stock handshake image is back. There seems to be a lot of firsts in the industry at the moment, but B. Do you consider yourself a tech doomsdayer who thinks the world will be overrun by robots? Find comfort in this. Australia gets a national rebrand, which sounds better than B. 
Coke has created an orange flavor after failing to find traction with Coca-Cola radish or Coca-Cola parsnip. Our friends Electric has appointed its first brand director, while B. PR agency Kate. If these profiles could be any day of the week, it would be Friday and we'd be on our way to happy hour. A PG exec spotted dancing on their desks after this news, which is sure to have sent Arthur Sadoon into a rage. While nothing will ever impress us as much as the Pons Institute, human-centric design consultancy The Labs is close. Proving he's full of surprises, Andrew Howie has ended his rather short stint at Westpac for a new role at Amazon. Andrew Knott has resurfaced over in the US. However, it's unclear whether he traveled there via submarine. Initiative has appointed former NBA player David Lee to, sorry, B. BA2 Milk CEO will be hoping to come back from his next China business trip with all his fingers and toes after this. Despite the accompanying press photo, B. When we are in need of some motivation in the B. In all honesty, B. It seems Tom Gleason isn't the only Grant Denyer fan, with a chorus of tens viewers calling for Family Feud's return. The ABC is planning to build an eye view on steroids, while B. If he's not leading the ACCC's inquiry into digital platforms, Rod Sims is catching dodgy advertisers like these. Sky News veteran Angelo Sprangopoulos has packed his bags, booked his plane ticket, and shimmied his way out the door. In adding more weight to the argument that dating can't be done without a smartphone comes this new campaign from RSVP. The hit 105 Brecky hosts get contract extensions, but it appears in the photo that one of them had to fight for theirs. The Honey Badger is set to grace screens. Liquid Ideas celebrates new client wins, while B. Sydney agency Pollen has been a hive of activity, with its team of busy bees designing a new look future women's site. Whether you're a marketer, work in an agency or earn your keep as a used car salesman, this blog has something for you. This new Bond spot has everything, machete and axe wielding women, a spider, hairy armpits, and the Blue Mountains. Agent 99 has landed a swath of new accounts. The PR agency, that is, not Maxwell Smart's clever sidekick. On first look B. How disappointed we were. Tense pilot week doesn't kick off until next month but critics are already applying the blowtorch. If your dream was to become a social media influencer for the federal government, prepare to have it dashed with this. The Monkees has signed, sealed and delivered its first work for us post, minus any postman being chased away by dogs. Ooh, media is doling out $2 million in prizes which, by strange coincidence, is equivalent to B. This new link sad oozes confidence, much like B. Aussie podcasts are taking over the world, but that's not to suggest there's been a blitzkrieg invasion or anything. Think TV has kept its media briefing on a new media briefing portal brief by having no media briefing and issuing this. Network 10 has climbed into the cockpit and switched on the turbines as it prepares its pilot week for takeoff. Google